Hi everybody, Lori Leshen here in the President's Office and I'm here with Rick Vaz, the Director of the Center for Project-Based Learning and of course longtime Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at WPI. Rick, great to talk to you about the Center. I want to start with why. Why the Center for Project-Based Learning? Well, Lori, higher education has known for a long time that project-based learning and other high-impact practices can have an enormous benefit to students of all types from the strongest to the least prepared student. However, very few colleges and universities have figured out how to implement project-based learning in ways that make sense for them. As you know, WPI has 48 years of experience wow. in project-based learning, and we believe that we're in a position to help colleges and universities make that leap toward a more effective curriculum. So it's taking what we've been doing at WPI for decades and really helping to bring it out to the broader world. So, so what kinds of things does the center do with colleges and universities? What kind of services do you offer? What do you do out there? So um, I'd say our signature offering is our Summer Institute on Project-Based Learning. In June, we'll be offering our fourth institute, wow. and we're expecting about 180 participants from 30 colleges and universities wow. around the country, but also some international as well. That's They'll be scaled up some, right? Yeah, it's gotten bigger. It's gotten bigger That's every exciting. year. Exactly. And uh, they'll be here for three days, and they will do a deep dive. They'll send a team of five or six people, and they'll leave with an action plan to try to make some important changes on their campus. The other main service that we offer to our clients are uh, custom workshops. Yep. Um, we've done custom workshops in colleges large and small all around the country and uh, we did one our first international workshop in Peru last summer Wow! and we're very excited about growing that. We did about a dozen workshops last year and we're hoping to increase that number this year. So talk to me about what these other colleges and universities um, what kinds of things they come away with? What are you seeing in terms of the impact that you're having on these other colleges? And how many have we worked with total? And how many students are they reaching? Yeah. Give me some sense of the scale of what's possible here. So we've worked with over 90 colleges and universities so far, mostly domestic, but some international as well. And we've worked with just about every type of college or university right. that you can imagine, from community colleges to research universities, large and small. Um, Public, private. Public, we had a private. historically black college and university has been here. We've had exactly. international universities. It's been a great diversity exactly. of types of campuses. Liberal arts colleges, right. um, just about every type. And every one of them is at a different point in the process of curricular change. And curricular change is a complex process that takes time, as right. you know. Um, very often, the teams that come to us in the Summer Institute are toward the beginning of the process of curricular change. And they're looking for a vision, and they're very often looking to identify a group of people who can be the leaders and yep. champions on yep. that campus. Institutions that are a little bit further along are the ones that typically will have us go to their campus to do a custom workshop, mm -hmm. which might last a couple of days and could involve anywhere from 15 to 50 or 60 faculty. And that's when they're trying to take the ideas that they have and um, socialize them around the faculty. So 90 universities, I think we, we racked and stacked when you were at 70 universities yeah. and thought that we were reaching over, have the potential to reach over 900,000 students. Yes. We must be close to a million yeah, students close now. Yeah, we're close to a million students enrolled in those colleges and universities. And quite honestly, very many of them are trying to figure out how to make these types of experiences available to each and every one of those students because there's so much evidence that shows that this is the type of education that can really benefit every student in terms of critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, communication, and leadership. And this is the kind of, of thinking that we need graduates to come out with. We know at WPI that our own graduates come out. One of the biggest impacts of, of project-based learning is that they take responsibility for their own learning. If there was one thing I could ask our graduates to do, yeah. it would be that because they've got to be lifelong learners. And we know project-based learning is about making that happen. Well, that's exactly right. In the alumni study, we talked to 38 years worth of WPI alumni, and they credited the projects that they did for not only taking responsibility for their own learning, but developing a stronger personal character, having confidence, and of course, having all the professional skills to succeed. So my one last question for you, 
a lot of people, when they hear about this, worry about WPI losing its special and unique position right. as a leader in project-based education by, by sharing what we know with so many others. What would you say to that? I would say that I have yet to encounter an institution that would ever attempt to do what it is that we do. Our students are doing projects across all four years, in and out of the major. Most of the clients that we're working with are trying to figure out how to break them into a single course or a single area of the curriculum. Most of them are trying to work under circumstances with very different students, very different resources, very different cultures. Yeah. So we have to customize the work that we do because nobody is going to be able to adopt the WPI plan. Right. Uh, but everybody can make some changes. They can learn from our experience in ways that are going to help their students. So this isn't about creating our own competitors. It's really about making education as a whole better, which helps our reputation out in the world if we're seen as this leader of project-based education, but also is just fantastic community service. I think this is the, the biggest lever that WPI has to change the world, is to improve higher education in this way. Fantastic. Well, thanks for your work. Congratulations on the first few years of success, and let's keep it going. Oh, well, thanks for your support. Fantastic. Yeah.